Right on ball bags and front bumps. So today, I'm gonna to do a pre-delivery on our brand new 40 horsepower Yamaha four-stroke outboard. <sighs> Smell that? Four-stroke. Righto, so when you buy these outboards brand new, the dealers do a pre-delivery. If they're a good dealer, they'll do it properly. If they're a shit dealer, they won't do it properly. Now the dealer I use is a fucking good dealer and he does a good pre-delivery, but I was up his ass not literally, uh, to just get this motor bolted on because we had to go, we had to send it. So pretty much I had to bolt the motor on, I had to fucking hook it. Anyway, I'm going to do the pre-delivery now. I'm actually a qualified marine mechanic, so it's okay. Now, what a lot of uh, dealers do is um, they bolt the engine on, they fill it with oil, send you on your way. Okay, then you go in for your first service. All right, they change the oil, they change the gear oil, but they don't actually drop the gearbox. They don't drop the gearbox until your 12 month service or your 100 hour service. Now, the problem with that, when they come out of the factory, there's no grease on any bolts, nothing. It's just fucking bone dry. Drier than the nun's nasty. All right, now what you want to do is, if they're a good dealer, they'll drop the gearbox, they'll pull out all your water pump bolts, they'll lube the drive shaft, they'll lube the shift shaft, they'll lube the water tube, they'll lube all the bolts up. So when it comes time for your 12 month service, you can get the fuckers out. If they're a shit dealer, they don't do that. When you go in for your 12 month service, they got seized bolts, and then they're fucking cooking your engine because they got to heat it up to get the bolts out, and then they're fucking charging you more because your bolts are seized. It's a fucking shit show. All right, so you want to do a good pre-delivery. So let's fucking get into it. So a bit of a tip for you young fellas getting in the field of marine mechanic. All right, first thing you're going to do, take the fucking prop off. Take the prop off before you drop the gearbox. Now, it's not so bad on these little ones because I only like the aluminium prop. But say you're dropping a fucking 200 horsepower gearbox and you've got this big ass stainless prop on there. That's a lot of weight you don't need to carry. And you've got to take the fucking prop off anyway to do the service properly. All right, because you've got, to, you've got to lube the shaft. All right, you don't want a fucking dry shaft. And these little bolts here on these anodes, these can fucking seize and snap. Just wanna lube them up, look at that. A dry as all fuck, no lube people, no lube. Yeah, man, I put this like white powdery shit on, I don't fucking know what that does. Two thirds of fuck all. Had the bolt up in here seized many a times on many outboards. You gotta get the oxygen, you gotta heat it all up here, cooks all your paint off, fucking brand new outboard. Look at that. Look at it! You can't have that shit. For you young fellas in the game too, get yourself a snap on double ring spinner. They're a 14, 15 mil ring spinner. They're nice and long. Awesome for cracking these bolts here. And then if you're running the snap on ratchet, quarter drive, get yourself a 14 mil socket for your quarter drive snap on ratchet. Fucking best way ever to rattle these gearbox bolts out with fucking ease. Nothing. Dry as fuck. Even the white shit they put on the fucking end, it's gone dry. Bone dry. This is where, sadly, dealers will take advantage of you guys. So, go to a good dealer. Like Whit Sunday Power Sports Marine, Ellie Beach. Yeah, don't do that mistake. And, uh, wind it down too far. And then you can't get your fucking ratchet out. Battle. Look at this bastard stuck on me. Get off. I know, so once you get your bolts out, you want to slide it down, guys. Now, can't forget, there is a tube in here for your speedo. All right, you gotta take that off. As you drop the box down, you gotta slide it off. Sometimes it comes off really easy, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes you snap that little fucking tail there, and then your boss gets up ya. Cause you're a fuckwit. Like what'd you go into that for? Now I gotta fucking replace it. Get your eyes off my daughter, that sort of shit. Righto, drop it down. Oh god. Come on, get out of there. Here's one of your main dramas here, all right? Is your drive shaft. Now I've seen this on big outboards, 200, 300 horsepower outboards, where they've never dropped the gearbox, come time for the fucking first service and they can't get the gearbox off. It's flat, cannot get the gearbox down because the spline is just rust itself into the uh, crankshaft of the outboard. And it's major repairs. It's like, holy fucking Jesus, pretty much to butcher your outboard to get the gearbox off. So this sort of shit's very important. Lube them up. That's your shift shaft, again, dry as fuck. Lube it up. It's gonna save you a shitload of dramas. Um, best way to go again is your water pump bolts. Now, the outboard's brand new. He does need a new water pump. He won't need a new water pump until 100 hours. Um, or 12 months, whatever comes first. But still, go through and individually pull each one of these bolts out, grease them up, put them back in again.
Right, all. So I've got all the uh, water pump bolts lubed up. They're good to go. Now you want to lube your drive shafts up, all right? Plenty of grease. Now, very important, all right? When you're putting grease on bolts and whatnot, you don't want to get grease over the end of the bolt, okay? Because as you wind the bolt in, it can pressurize inside the fucking chamber and just crack housings, buck threads, that sort of thing. Same goes when you're putting grease on shafts, all right? Do not get grease over the end of the shaft. Okay, that can actually, as you put it up in the uh, crank, it can compress and can actually fuck up all the preload on your bearings and your pinion gear and all that sort of shit and just fuck shit up. So don't do that, all right? Make sure you don't get grease on top of your shaft. Just the sides. Only lube the side of your shaft. Righto! Once you've uh, lubed up your shaft and your gearbox, it's uh, time to put it back up. You can also put a bit of lube on these locating dowels. You want to think it, but even those fuckers see on there. Grease on your belt. Lube it up. Line your shafts up. Ooh. So when you're putting the bolts back in, guys, don't put one in and do it up fucking tight. Put them all in there sort of loosely and do them up together. Otherwise, you'll be fighting. Fight the gearbox, trying to get the bolts in. Drive you nuts. Drive you crazier than your ex. Another handy tip I'm going to point out with you is when you put the gearbox up, don't put all the bolts in straight away. Put one bolt in and then check your shift shaft. Put in gear. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Because if you miss the shift shaft when putting it up and then you go put every fucking bolt in, then you realise oh, I've got no gears. You've got to drop it all out again. Right, oh, that's the gearbox all back together. But it doesn't stop there when it comes to your pre-delivery. Thermostat bolts. Take your fucking thermostat bolts out and lube them up. They're only a small bolt and they forever season blocks and snap. And how much would it suck balls? If your mount board that's only 12 months old had fucking broken bolts in the block. All right, so that's your thermostat cover. These bolts here fucking seize. They season here, they season here and then they snap a rooney. Right, then you gotta pry this off and sometimes you're lucky and you got a bit of a prong there and you can heat this up. That's right, you can get the oxy straight onto your customer's brand new fucking outboard to get the bolts out. So, you know, if the dealer does it right from the start, pulls them out, saves their customers some money. Look at it. Dry them drought, lube him up. Again, remember, don't get grease over the end. If you don't want to jam it up in that hole and it can press, then crack something. Your boss will yell at you again. So I fucking told you not to put grease over the end of the bolt. No, you can't date my daughter. Like, fuck. Righto, nut sacks and front cracks. So that's pretty much everything I like to cover uh, in a bit of a pre-service. I just drop all the gearbox bolts, water pump bolts, lube all the shafts. You can go to town no more. You can lube your linkages up. You can pull your spark plugs out. You can lube them up. You know, there'll be blokes on here that will fucking probably just annihilate me for what I've done and just say, no, nah, you haven't done enough, you've done too much. But that's right, everyone's different. But thermostat bolts, lube them all up. Just think of lube, right? Everything's better with a bit of lube, okay? Keep the bus looking brand new, it'll last you forever and a day. <laughs>